Today we have Dr. Vinay Garodia. He is the founder and a senior eye surgeon at Visitec. He has been trained extensively at All India Institute of Medical Sciences. He has also worked at Dottingham, England, and is a fellow of Royal College of Surgeons of Edinburgh, UK. Thank you so much, sir, for finding time out of your busy schedule to answer my questions. I hope all this information can help people all over the country and especially in Delhi and Sir to beat the virus and uh, to take care of themselves during this pandemic. I welcome you. Thanks, Manan. I really like the initiative that you are taking to try to educate the people. Thank you so much, sir. To dive right in, my first question is: What exactly is mucormycosis or black fungus? See, mucormycosis is the real term. Black fungus is somehow is a wrong name given to it. There is nothing black about this fungus. Uh, the fungus is not black in color. It is not called black fungus, but somehow somewhere it is given. the name of black fungus uh, mucormycosis basically is an infection uh, because of a fungus which is an uh, a, a fungus which is available which is there all over the environment that you have so it's a ubiquitous kind of a fungus that is there all around us but normally it doesn't affect us because our immunity takes care of it but whenever your immunity is down that is a time when the fungus can strike and it often will affect your uh, nasal cavity and the sinuses first and then later on can spread to the nearby areas also Uh, when it affects the particular organ sometimes that area becomes very black in color and maybe that is where some layman kind of gave it the name of a black fungus but the scientific name for that is mucormycosis and it is not the same as the black fungus that you can see somewhere it is not the same fungus so black fungus is a misnomer that we have so thank you for that clarification sir we should definitely not believe in a large number of misnomers as well as but publicity tactics that the news channels are trying to dramatize the situation so talking more about this fungal infection what symptoms should be specifically look out for when should we be worried uh, see the news channels are of course uh, spreading a lot of information about that we can take it in a positive and negative sense both the good thing is that people are aware about it so people are hopefully going to be coming to us earlier before it's too late the bad side is of course there's a huge amount of panic that is there the slightest amount of symptom is being taken as black fungus we are getting frantic calls from people ki doctor i had covid so can i have a black fungus i'm having this small bit of red eyes is it a black fungus so there is a bit of a panic that is setting in also so we have to somewhere strike a balance that people don't ignore the symptoms neither do get do, do they get so panicky that they keep pressing and they keep increasing their as it is a stressed life uh, more and more so the symptoms that are significant in a black fungus or a black fungus or a mucormycosis infection is basically you will you may have a blocked nose you may have blood coming from the nose and later on the same thing can affect the sinuses so when the sinuses get affected you will have a headache severe headache that can be there and from the sinuses it can spread to either, either towards your teeth or towards your eyes if it comes towards your teeth you may have a loosening of the teeth or pain in the uh, teeth when it goes towards your eyes you can have pain in the eyes redness of the eyes and swelling of the eye and it is more so important if one side of your face is getting involved so it is more likely that this is more of something infective many times people yes. have a simple allergic conjunctivitis which is a simple red eye that they have and that is not a fungus uh, infection because those are just simple redness and watering of the eyes but if you have significant pain of the eyes decrease in vision difficulty in moving of the eyes or a prominence of the eyeball now those are more symptoms towards this fungal infection that along with some problem with the nose or the sinuses yes sir in very advanced diseases you may have as i said there might be some blackening of that area but those are very advanced stages that you may have so the, the, the nasal orifices or the throat you may have some black kind of a, a necrotic kind of a tissue coming up there yes sir yes sir that is a that is a very important point that we should not create unnecessary panic so now that if we look at the news we are seeing a large number of cases are being reported out of india why is this so what are we doing so wrong that we are having such a surge in the number of cases uh, well there there are two reasons for this one is of course you have got a huge denominator so if you know even if there is a very small percentage of that gets infected you will have more cases because india as you know has a huge population and our case load yes. is also at the maximum but second thing which is unfortunately which is very preventable and which we are not doing properly here is there's a whole lot of self medication happening in our country hmm. so everyone is starting on steroids people know that steroids helps in covid so people without even asking for the doctor they start steroids right from day one also 
which which actually is harmful for the management of covid as well as it may also cause more side effects and also people are not keeping good control of their diabetes most common factor in causing mucormycosis is when you have got uncontrolled diabetes which gets worsened by the steroid usage because as you know the steroids increase your sugar levels yes so as it is you have a patient population which has got a hidden diabetes or uncontrolled diabetes and then they start steroids and they are not being monitored properly and because covid has such a phobia that people are not actually going to them and people are ignoring to manage uh, diabetes their blood sugars are going to 3 4 or 500 levels and that's where you kind of become more predisposed to these infections and then you catch the infection so the important thing what we are not doing properly is that we are not doing using our steroids judiciously yes. and we are not maintaining our blood sugars properly if we can do this much this will help us in not only managing the covid better but will also help us in preventing this complication of mucormycosis yes sir so thank you for that valuable information sir all of this would really help in spreading awareness about something that is very important that and a recurrent theme that i have found uh, in this session is that we are self medicating and not doing it properly yes. and that is self medicating and we are over medicating over -medicating. both the things are happening from the from the day when i am seeing patients who are starting antibiotics they are starting steroids yes. they are starting everything ivermectin uh, remdesivir whatever and what and plasma therapy all of these have found no value yes they are either useless or at worst they are harmful so it is always better not to overreact not to over medicate and not even to over investigate people are going around getting all the investigations done you know you have to get in touch with a physician on phone and just follow that advice yes sir. absolutely so so if someone has uh, is suffering from uh, mucormycosis then what treatment is uh, given to them so one important thing to know for mucormycosis is that unfortunately this is not a very simple infection that can be just taken care by giving some tablets so yes. there is no role of starting any treatment the moment you have a suspicion of mucormycosis you have to contact your physician preferably the person who is going to handle is going to be ent surgeon so don't go around going to too many people try to go to an ent surgeon they would be detecting and diagnosing it and based on the stage of the diseases the patient is started on the intravenous uh, antifungal and there's a specific antifungal that works here so there is no role of starting a antifungal treatment as a preventive measure because if you give some wrong antifungal it may actually predispose to this infection more because that antifungal will kill all the other fungi yeah. and will promote this particular fungus to grow more so therefore there is no role of preventive antifungal the moment you have a symptom you should contact and preferably a ent surgeon the ent surgeon depending upon the disease stage is going to be starting you on the treatment of intravenous uh, antifungal agent along with that if the disease is more advanced all the affected organs may need to be removed so that removal may be involving the ent surgeon if this going to the uh, oral cavity the dentist may be involved if it goes to the eyes the ophthalmologist may be involved if in those rare cases when it goes to the brain also then the neurosurgeons may also be involved so this may be a multi speciality kind of a mode of treatment that may be required and depending upon the stage of the disease how fast the, how further the infection has progressed we may have to debride the whole tissue so that along with the medical management both the things together will help yes so thank you so for that information it uh, it is it really makes it clear how the uh, how the fungus in, uh, fungal infection is treated and how one must go about it in case one is infected in recently we are seeing a certain number of cases where people who have not taken steroids but have been treated at home are uh, getting uh, this infection what could be the reason for this so as i told you steroids only work by decreasing the immunity of the patient if there are other factors which are decreasing the immunity they are also prone and yes. one most common factor that we are seeing in everyone is the uncontrolled sugar levels so most yes. of these patients who have got infection without steroids are the ones who as as it is had a poor sugar level control and because of the disease again you know there are some other immunity that does go down with it uh, so those will be the more prone people to get it yes sir. 
so uh, what i understand from our talk here is that uh, having a, a well balanced sugar level is very important to protect ourselves from very this important. virus so nowadays what we are recommending are for covid is not only you should have a pulse oximeter at home but if you are a diabetic you should also have a glucometer at home yes managing sh uh, sugars are very important and many times this kind of a diabetes which is precipitated by uh, covid steroids is not controlled by the oral medications alone so if your if your physician advises you to go into insulin don't hesitate because yes. insulin is very safe to control the diabetes but many times it is required for managing the sugar levels for during the covid times yes sir absolutely so sir if we have to give an objective do's and don'ts list to people when battling with uh, this black fungus or mucormycosis as it's properly called uh, what would you say to them uh see there's hardly much of do's and don'ts once the once the mucormycosis has already affected you yes. the only do in that case is that you immediately contact a uh, ent surgeon if you can and at least in the urban areas we can manage to do that uh, unfortunately the place, people in the rural areas we may not have an easy access to uh, the doctors there who are qualified to manage it or the medications available don't panic let us go. immediately contact your physician the ent person and don't delay the treatment the faster the treatment is started the better it is but yes. don't panic and don't self medicate yes absolutely i guess these are some very important things all of us should keep in mind we should not believe in false whatsapp forwards or self prescribing ourselves medicines that is increasingly happening at this point and trust a doctor's prescription be aware of the symptoms and we will get through this so uh, sir we have recently seen the media talking about a new so called white fungus so what can you say about mm -hmm. this well actually when you asked me this question i had to look into what white fungus could be because there's no technical term like a black fungus similarly there's nothing like a white fungus right. what i presume is that people are talking about the candida infection that may happen that, that is again another kind of a fungal infection that is known to happen and that again happens more so in immunocompromised people but candida or the white fungus is not that difficult a fungus to treat even though it can affect the lungs and all but that is amenable to many more uh, antifungal agents that are there so anyway if you have any symptoms that are there then you have to consult your physician and they are going to guide you best what needs to be done yes absolutely i would like to thank you sir for taking out time from your busy schedule and answering all of these questions i hope all of this information can be used judiciously and uh, we can help beat this new terror the fungal infections we call microsis that is coming especially when we are in the middle of the second wave of the pandemic thank you so much thanks thanks manu